you're going to get cancer. That's what most doctors think when it comes to the topic of using progesterone as a hormone replacement therapy. But in this video, I'm going to show you a massive study that disproves that entire misconception and why it's not the cause of strokes, heart disease, and cancer. It might be a tumor. It's not a tumor. It's not a tumor at all. Progesterone is a steroid hormone produced in a woman's body after ovulation, during the second half of the menstrual cycle. After the egg pops out of an ovary and rolls down the fallopian tube to the uterus, a small nodule left behind in the ovary begins producing progesterone in massive amounts. When this cycle stops in a woman, this ever important steroid hormone along with estrogen begins to decrease, resulting in a variety of symptoms that every woman is familiar with. Ah, look at this. My first day as a woman, I'm getting hot flashes. Such as sleep problems, depression, anxiety, cognitive deficits, and bone loss. Enter hormone replacement therapy. As a clinical practitioner, I use progesterone and estradiol as part of my treatment plan to combat these aspects of aging with amazing results. Although initially, when I tell a patient of this treatment plan, I receive reactions that range from intrigued to horrified. The reason for this is the serious lack of understanding both among women and sadly, also among their doctors. Most are afraid that this treatment protocol will raise the chance of cancer and strokes from blood clotting. I want to address that misconception by referencing a massive study conducted by the Women's Health Initiative from 1993 to 2002. That study involved the administration of hormone replacement therapies to 16,000 menopausal women aged 50 to 79. The objective of this study was to evaluate the health effects of these therapies, both positive and negative. The study initially focused on three groups. A group using Primarin, a synthetic estrogen. A group using Primarin and medroxyprogesterone acetate, a synthetic progesterone. And women taking a placebo. After nine years, in 2002, the study reported that group two, the women using both the synthetic progestogen and Primarin together, showed a small increase in the risk of breast cancer, heart disease, stroke, and blood clots. It is these reported results from 2002 that most women and doctors reference when they express their concern for using this hormone replacement therapy. Because of this, the study of these two hormones together, group two, was discontinued. However, the study continued with group one, just following the women on Premarin, and in 2004, the study concluded. Researchers found that those women using Primarin alone had beneficial effects with lowering of breast cancer risk and heart disease, though there remained a small increase in the risk of stroke. Now, fast forward to 2007, the same investigators published further analysis of their original data from 2002 stating that the cancer, heart disease, and stroke risks were overestimated in the original. In fact, with this reanalysis, they found that HRT initiated in the 50 to 59 year age group had a lower incidence of heart disease, lower risk of death from any cause, which we call all cause mortality, and no clear increase in risk of stroke. Of course, by this time, most women in America and around the world for that matter, had been taken off their hormones since doctors were unaware of these new findings and this sadly is still the case. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. I just uh, forgot. Fast forward from 2007 to 2017, another 10 years, when yet another follow-up study by Women's Health Initiative of 27,000 women from the original group were studied showed a reduced risk of breast cancer in the Primarin only group, but still a slight increase in the risk of breast cancer in the combined Primarin and progestogen group. And women in this follow-up also demonstrated a decrease in cardiovascular disease and all-cause mortality. Let's summarize this. This study proved that Primarin reduced breast cancer risk, Primarin reduced heart disease, Primarin reduced all-cause mortality, Primarin and progestin showed a slight increase in breast cancer risk. As a practitioner, I would suggest the use of natural estrogen and progesterone 
as would be made in the ovaries. The reason for this is that subsequent studies published in systematic reviews in the British Medical Journal have shown that estradiol, natural estrogen, with bioidentical progesterone as opposed to the synthetic version used in the 2002 study, did not add increased risk to breast cancer. Let me repeat that. Bioidentical progesterone does not add increased risk of breast cancer or blood clots. We also now know that bioidentical progesterone opens up or dilates arteries, increasing blood flow, whereas synthetic progestin constricts and restricts flow. And progesterone does not decrease our good HDL cholesterol, but synthetic progestins do. As an added benefit, HRT with natural progesterone is the only validated treatment for prevention of osteoporosis for young menopausal women when used in combination with vitamins D, K2, and A. Knowing now that bioidentical progesterone poses no real risk of strokes, clots, and heart attacks, or breast cancer, even when used with estrogen, it should be seriously considered as a part of a postmenopausal treatment plan. Progesterone is a steroid hormone that also benefits your nerves and your brain. Progesterone helps you mitigate dementias, recover from strokes, repair neuropathies, and potentially slow progression of degenerative neurologic diseases like MS, ALS, and Parkinson's, diseases without known cures, I might add. In this sense, these hormones are reparative based on what we now know about neuroregeneration, and they may play a very important role in recovery and prevention of well-known neurologic diseases and injuries.